Alright guys, so welcome back to Let's Play uh, Legend of Zelda Mishkit. Oh, 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 I, I figured out. <laughs> oh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> it even gives you the little hint with the little tread marks right here. There we go. <laughs> I just figured that out. That was a total accident. That probably just saved me five minutes of recording. All right, so uh, we're done with that part. That was a stupid puzzle, and I was doing really bad. Once you take hold of something with R, all right. Push that over there. I'm gonna be in the middle. Aha, yep, I thought so. Can't trick me. Friggin' Who do you think I am? Just who in the hell do you think I am? Sorry. Grendel gone. It's it's a thing. Really? It didn't st whatever. Um by the way, I just want to point this out again. Heart piece. That wait, actually now that I think about it. If I'm not being stupid, then this should work. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, I need to go in from a room to the north of here. I guess they were more clever than that, than something so simple. Heck, that's how we got the dungeon map, I should have known. Alright, back out here. I'm gonna assume that I need to head down here. I'm sure there's a uh, door I passed somewhere. Push this in the water again, and just like that, I'm down here. Now the rupee, I have 17 rupees now, so that's good. Um, aren't I in the... Yeah, I'm in the first room of the dungeon again. Crap, I did this wrong. <laughs> Great to know I'm such a competent person. Right in the face, and then I let it go. Apparently, you only let go when you get right in the face. That's gonna be my new slogan. Not really, at all. Oh, oh, there's the door. There's the door, everyone. There we go. See, I figured this out. I can, I can play games. Maybe if I head up here, though. Ah, oh, wait. The door. Okay, that door doesn't open, so... Just head in here. Head down here. Uh... Wait. Kinda wanna know what's over here. Oh, crap. That's what happens if you drown, apparently. Crap. Apparently you can overshoot. Nice to know that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, by the way. Oh! I see. Need to pull this back all I can to land over here. I'm liking the puzzles in this game, actually. It's pretty fun. Everything's simple, and they pretty much show you how to do it already. It's just up to you to apply what you know. Which is always nice. Crap. Oh. I was hitting the wrong button. Uh, if you hadn't noticed, I'm doing this on an emulator, so... Uh, I just hit was hitting the button next to the one I meant to be hitting. Crap, uh...
I'm not sure if this is how I want to do it or not. No, it's not. I see. So, I'm going to be wanting to grab this. Pull this. Wait, while I'm thinking about it, I really need to save. I haven't saved yet. I'm doing all these first, like, four episodes all in one recording session. And, as such, uh, I haven't saved. <laughs> there we go. I can use my brain. Sometimes. Oh god, no. Oh, thank god. Thank you. You got a small key used to open locked doors. Thank you. And we're back here. Alright, so, um. Keep running through here. Yeah, this is a lot like every other. Well, okay, not, not like it, every other Zelda game I've played. This is similar puzzles. Not even similar puzzles. Similar playstyle to the 3D ones, I guess? The puzzles aren't that similar, because they're kind of odd, but they're very hard to figure out if you, um... Please don't tell me I just screwed it up. Yeah, you can still do this. Oh. Now there's a puzzler. I suspect there's not much more we can do here right now. Let's press on. Perhaps we can work this from another angle later on. Yeah. I just screwed that one up as well. <sighs> just a second. Um, push this one up, push this one out of the way. Got it. I got the compass. Oh, sweet. That's actually perfect. Uh, what the compass does is it's used with the dungeon map to show all the hidden items. See, so yeah, there are four on this floor, there's one there, and there's two down here. Uh, one of them's in the room I'm in, which I can already see, and one's in a room over there that I haven't been in. So, by looking at this map, you can tell how there's all these light purple, uh, like, violet? Yeah, violet uh, colored rooms. I suspect those are the ones that I've already been in, while all the uh, dark, dark purple ones must be the ones I haven't visited yet. Alright, uh, I don't, I forgot to actually set a timer or anything for this episode, so I have no idea how long I'm going to take. I'm going to assume that I'm at, like, six minutes or something. Alright, so now that I've been in this room... Oh, crap, um, that was mean. Why would you do that to me? Take that. Oh. Well, that's not good. I wonder, can I, if I kill them all, do I get anything? I get a heart. I only have two more pots, and there's three of them over there, so screw that. Oh, oh god. For some reason, my chest is now hurting. Alright, um... Wait, we're back here. What is going on? Um, where haven't I been? All right, I've been in all the rooms up here. I can't go there yet, apparently. Actually, maybe just a second. Yeah, I can't do that. So I'm. I think I know where to go. I need to head back up here. I think. Then again, I'm often wrong whenever I'm doing an LP, so... <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice the big freaking locked door right here that I had a key for. Oh, sweet. Yeah, this... I'm mean, assuming this isn't the real boss of the place, which means this is the mini-boss. Okay, this isn't very hard. Just standard Zelda logic. 
uh, you tend to have to stun it somehow, which is the big weak spot at its nose, and then hit the big weak point that peers up. Though normally it's the weak point, and then uh, you find some way to stun it, some way or another, and then you can hit the weak point. You got the gust jar. Hold to draw things in. All right, items menu. Oh. Oh, I see. Instead of using your sword and shield all the time, you can. All right. So instead of that, I'm gonna set this up like this. All right. So let's see. Yep, that so. All right. So now we can get rid of these pesky things, which actually I know right where I'm going. I'm going down here to get this. Got a piece of heart. Clicked four to make a. Uh, new heart container. Let's see. Yup. Oh, turned red. What does red do? Maybe it's more powerful or something? Oh god. Oh! Apparently I can stun them like this so I can actually hurt them. This is really cool. I've never had an item like this. Uh, I haven't played that many GBA Zeldas or the original Zeldas, so I don't know what kind of items they've brought back for this game and what kinds are uh, original ones. Oh, crap. Um, I thought there was a... But, I thought... Oh, okay, yeah, so the water was the place I was supposed to go. Now what? Unless we find a way to travel by water, we won't be going very much farther. Ah, yeah, I got this. You always have to use the item that they just give you. I got this. Oh, crap. Um, no. Please forgive me if I'm not very good at this right now. Oh, for a second there I thought I fell off. I was like, no! Crap, I, I think I'm running out of time. Um, I'm going to finish this little section right here. Come on, a little further. Oh. That's not where I meant to go. There we go. Oh crap, I didn't get a key. Um, actually this is the perfect place to stop. So, next time on Let's Play Minish Cap, we'll be, uh, getting that little key and we'll be, I don't know, finishing up this dungeon, hopefully, though I said that last time. So yeah, I don't know what's happening from here. So I guess I'll see you guys next time.